everyone welcome to my channel I am Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady and today I have a garden update for y'all I haven't done one in a while but I wanted to show y'all this is my cat Oreo and this is my brother's cat Vesta so everyone meet Vesta she's a sweetheart she's still a kitten well, she wants to go check out Oreo. Alright, so I am going to take y'all around the backyard and the big garden today. And give y'all a little bit of an update because I haven't done one in a while. So stay tuned. Alright, so we have these tomatoes here. And they have went crazy. They're all over the place. And this one, my grandmother had trimmed back a little bit. And it's actually doing really well. I have no idea what kinds she planted. But there are some flowers right here. And right there. Alright, so our sweet potatoes are doing pretty well here, and even made a flower. There's some that are going to be coming up there. Bees over in this corner are newly planted. These mustard greens came up voluntarily. In this middle one, we have regular potatoes and... Uh, some tomatoes that ended up dying. Well, yeah. Then some of the stuff from the big garden, my grandmother transplanted here. And it's okra, which that one has little okra growing. Or maybe that's the flower. I'm not sure. But that one has a flower on it. There's one corn. And the rest are okra. We have these tomatoes. This one's still doing good. All the tomatoes I planted are gone. For my peppers. they The Peter peppers and habaneros are on their second round of producing. These two in the front are habanero. This row right here are all my Peter peppers. I counted the other day, and I have 47 Peter Peppers coming out. There's even one that's starting to turn. I noticed the other day that I have a couple of habaneros even coming out. They have tons of blooms, and I even have some Lesia Peppers that need to be picked. Look at that teeny tiny one there. That is so small. Sorry about the wind. A cool front is coming in where we live. So my Lesia peppers never stopped producing. Uh, but my habaneros and Peter peppers did after all of them had been picked. So I'm kind of excited about them producing again. Alright, so now I'm going to take you out to the big garden and show you what we have done different there. Alright, so our little pond, as I call it, which actually, um, it's for the garden to run off excess water, mostly. We are trying to keep this dry because every time it would fill up with water, we get tons of tadpoles. I mean, tons. So much that you could just see them swimming all, all around. All right, so my cucumbers. Half of them have died, but there are a few. And ever since I've been sick, they had been taken over by this bahia grass. And recently my brother weed-eated, but that's why they're... All covered with grass but I do have a cucumber there and 
a flower. Now, I think this is two plants here. Those have died right there. There's still one right here. One here that is a half, half alive. And then all of these had died. My mom's tomatillos. And then I have this small patch of cucumbers here. And there's even a cucumber right there. Oh, and there's one right here. I didn't even notice that one. I do try to get the grass out, but since I had been sick recently, it kind of got overrun. <laughs> well, something's been digging there. Funny story, guys. Two o'clock in the morning, I had went outside and checked on Tom, because he only comes at night, and there was an armadillo in the front yard. Scared me half to death. All right, so all this area where the tall grass is was my zucchini, and they are done for. They've been done for for a while now. My mom has a couple of pepper plants. I think I'm. I think that one's a jalapeno, or maybe that one is. And I believe those are Anaheim, but I'm not sure. Uh, she's got a little tomato growing there. She has some steaks marking what they are. She's got a couple of things growing down there. Looks like cantaloupe. And for the most part, everything down here uh, we got rid of. There used to be cucumbers down here. Uh, and they died. But we do have a couple of little things growing over where our cantaloupe used to be we still have some that are alive and are making again we did get three off these plants that are here there's one growing here one growing here and down here this one is doing really well it's got tons of blooms. There's even a green bean that's growing there and a green bean growing there. I water those faithfully. And we have a tomato plant still growing here. Now, let's go up here a little bit. We have some okra that survived, except the leaves are all going crazy. Ants are starting to eat it again, but as you can see, ants got that one and that one and that one. That one looks terrible, but they are really hard. I don't think they got enough water. Now, these were completely dead, but they're coming back out from the bottom, and they got baby okra. There's one there, and one here. And there's even um, sweet potatoes <laughs> right here. So, I think that's it for out here. Now, we had put this down to kill some of the grass. Um, we had carrots that went to seed here. Ooh. All right, so I believe that is everything for now. Uh, I just wanted to give you all a little update. Oh, there's a carrot give y'all a little update on the garden I, I hadn't been able to for a while sorry about the wind um, oh there's Oreo alrighty so tomorrow I go live with Sabrina, Malodeuce, Um 
I have to draw a winner for the pattern giveaway, and that was in Yarny Talk Thursday of last week. On Wednesday, I have to draw. There will be three winners, and it's for the Lady Lenore dolphin pattern. And let's see. I am still accepting custom crochet hook orders. Uh, just send me an email, and I have a default message typed up with everything you need to know so if you're interested my email is in my description box and on my about page so i think that's it for now i'm gonna go and i hope everyone has a wonderful monday or whenever you're watching this take care stay safe and i love you guys bye for now